Hello all and welcome to today's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm a say blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai, and new king of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai, who knew seen the words of your Torah in our mouths and the mouths of all your people of Israel, may we know our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for its sake, fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai. Teaches Torah to his people Israel. Bless you, Donai, new king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Bless you, Donai, give her a Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to you and your enemy be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. We have three reads today. They are going to be Mark 12, 28 through 34, Luke 10, 25 through 37, and John 1. John 7, 1 through 52. <clears throat> Mark 12, 28 through 34. And one of the scribes came up to him and heard them disputing with one another. And seeing that, he answered them well. He asked him, Which commandment is the most important of all? Yeshua answered, The most important is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our Elohim. The Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your Elohim with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. And the scribe said to him, you are right, teacher. You have truly said that he is one and there is no other besides him. And to love him with all the heart and with all the understanding, with all the strength, and to love one's neighbor as oneself is much more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Yeshua answered that, he answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of Elohim. And after that, no one dared to ask him any more questions. Luke 10, 25-37 And behold, a lawyer stood up and put him to the chest, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? And he answered, You shall love the Lord your Elohim with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, Yes, you have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. But he, desiring to justify himself, said to Yeshua, And who is my neighbor? Yeshua replied, A man going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among robbers who stripped him and beat him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now, by chance... A priest was going down that road, and when he saw me pass by on the other side, so likewise a Levite, when he came to when he came to a place and saw him pass by on the other side, but a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. He went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring oil and wine, <coughs> pouring on oil and wine. Then he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn. And took care of him. The next day he took off. Sorry. The next day he took out two denarii. And gave them to the innkeeper saying take care of him. And whatever more you spend I will repay when I come back. Which of these three do you think proved to be a neighbor to the man who fell among the robbers? He said the one who showed him mercy. And Yeshua said to him. You go and do likewise. John 7, 1 through 52. After this, Yeshua went about Galilee. He would not go about in Judea because of the Jews. They were seeking to kill him. Now the Jews' feast of booths was at hand. So his brother said to him, Leave here and go to Judea, that your disciples also may see the works you are doing. For no one works in secret, and if he seeks to be known openly, if you do not do these things, show yourself to the world. For not even his brothers believed in him. Yeshua said to him, My time has not yet come, but your time is always here. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me because I testify about the works, about it, that its works are evil. You go up to the feast. I am not going up to this feast, 
for my time has not yet fully come. After saying this, he remained in Galilee. But after his brothers had gone up to the feast, then he also went up, not publicly, but in private. The Jews were looking for him at the feast and saying, Where is he at? And there was much muttering about him among the people. Some said, He is a good man. Others said, No, he is leading the people astray. Yet for fear of the Jews, no one spoke openly of him. About the middle of the feast, Yeshua went up in the temple and began teaching the Jews. Therefore, marveling, said, How is it that this man has learning when he has never studied? So Yeshua answered, My teaching is not mine, but his who sent me. If anyone's will is to do Elohim's will, he will know whether the teaching is for Elohim or whether I am speaking on my own authority. The one who speaks on his own authority his own glory, but the one who seeks the glory of him who sent him is true, and in him there is no falsehood. Has not Moses given you the law? Yet none of you keeps the law. Why do you seek to kill me? The crowd answered, You have a demon who is seeking to kill you. Yeshua answered them, I did one work, and you all marvel at it. Moses gave you circumcision, not that it is from Moses, but from the fathers, and your and you circumcise a man on the Sabbath. If on the Sabbath a man receives circumcision so that the law of Moses may not be broken, are you angry with the man because of the Sabbath? I made a whole, made a man's whole body well. Do not judge the appearances, but judge with right judgment. <coughs> Some of the people of Jerusalem therefore said, Is this... Is not this the man whom they seek to kill? And here he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Can it be that the authorities really know that this is Hamashiach? But we know there, where this man comes from. And when Hamashiach appears, no one will know where he comes from. So Yeshua proclaimed as he taught in the temple, You know me, and you know where I came from where I come from, but I have not come on my own accord. He who sent me is true, and him you do not know. I know him, for I come from him, and he sent me. So they were seeking to arrest him, but no one laid a hand on him, because his hour had not yet come, yet many of the peoples believe in him. They said, When Hamashiach appears, will he do more signs than this man has done? The Pharisees heard the crowd muttering these things about him, and the chief priests and the Pharisees sent officers to arrest him. Yeshua said, Yeshua then said, I'll be with you a little longer, and then I'll be going to him who sent me. You will seek me, and you will not find me. Where I am going, where I am, you cannot come. The Jews said to one another, Where does this man intend to go that we will not find him? Does he intend to go to the dispersion among the Greeks and teach the Greeks? What does he mean by saying, you, you will seek me, and you will not find me, and where I am, you cannot come? On the last day of the feast, the great day, Yeshua stood up and cried out, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scriptures have said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Now this he said about the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were to receive, for as yet the Spirit had not been given, because Yeshua was not yet glorified. And when the people heard these words, some of the people said, This is really the prophet. Others said, This is Hamashiach. But some said, Is Hamashiach to come from Galilee? Has not the scriptures said that Hamashiach comes from the offspring of David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David was? So there was diversion among the people over him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but none... But no one laid a hand on him. The officers came to the chief priests and Pharisees who said to them, Why did you not bring him? The officers said, No one ever spoke like this man. The Pharisees answered him, Have you also been deceived? How many of the authorities or the Pharisees believe in him? But this crowd that does not know the law is accursed. Nicodemus, who had gone to him before, and who was one of them said to him, Does our law judge a man without first giving him a hearing and learning what he does? They replied, Are you from Galilee too? Search and see that no prophet arises from Galilee.
Blessed art thou, Dolly, he knew king of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Dolly, giver of Torah, Brukata Dolly, and he malak halo, mission in town, the new trading, met by Shalom, the Tabet, Kinu, Brukata Dolly, and a teen hatara. I hope you all have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.